Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Distant World, uh, Distant Worlds, Honorverse. Okay, so in the last episode we liberated Lahan, did a few other things. Off camera I was going through all these potential mining locations, trying to determine if there's any other places we should snatch up with our new retrofitted uh, construction ship design. And there are quite a few that I think would be interesting. And I'm trying to hotkey these. I'm actually down to the very last spot I can hotkey. So that's going to be enough for now. This one, having Necrostone and Aculon, is going to be the final of the group of acquisitions I think we should make for the time being. But plenty more down here. In fact, what do we have Jaconta Ivory yet? Maybe I should also invest myself in this one. Okay, in order to do so, I actually have to uh, do something like this and get this to be controlled. Okay, so I'll do that one last still. But, okay, so let's just take a look at the things I've done. We have Halmat over here that has a, a good planet with um, Otandium Opal. I want to make sure I get some more luxury goods going for our people. We have, uh, this is an interesting one, GF562, which actually already has a Solarian post in it. But for some reason... It's still letting me build, because this size actually, if we zoom in enough, you can see that this circle actually expands to hold, to be held by um, this gas mining station. But if you zoom out enough, it doesn't, which puts this in a, a very peculiar situation where we can actually get Kiare Profit over here to build at this gas cloud a gas station, which seems a little bit strange because there's already you can't have multiple gas mining stations on the same thing. So for that reason, I'm not sure what to do about it, and I don't want to annoy our Solarian... I mean, wait, this is the Grayson. Yeah, Grayson's already here. So I'm not sure what will happen, actually, if I build this here. Because, like I said, normally you can't have one object occupy... or one mining station occupy... more than one mining station occupying an object. So we'll, we'll just give it a go anyway. We also have the Cheerful Splendor, Looks like she's not a Mark IV. So let's get some of these guys um, Mark IVs to retrofit. I mean Mark III's to retrofit. Okay, that one. And this one also has no job, but is... Where are you, by the way? We will also get you to retrofit at the nearest place. Man Manticore works. That's the best option, I think. And the other two we already have retrofitting. So pretty soon we'll have a lot of uh, ships available. Kiari Profits are on the way, but everyone else is just going to um, retrofit, except for this one cruiser we're still repairing. This is way down in... Uh, oh, this is in Merker. Okay, yes. So how much further? Only five more components. That will probably finish on this uh, in this episode, but the good news is while we're repairing it, we have that advanced tech bonus in, for repairing the Reckless Chariot, which is that cruiser. So we're doing pretty good. I'm pretty happy with everything. We have positive money, which means we also need to go to Netray and order our first small space station. Minor port, go ahead and build. Perfect. So Netray won't be, you know, it's not going to be a main colony, I don't think. But it's nice to have uh, one Baskarin population we can draw from for our troops. That That's going to be fantastic later. I can then set up, uh, once we get a good troop population consistency, I can set up clone factories and all that. So we'll eventually get those going. I mean, there's also robotic troops we can use if we want, which are really cheap to build and have low maintenance. So, yeah, lots of stuff that we can do for the ground war game. But uh, as you've seen here, really, it's just up to the space war. That determines everything, as you would expect in a space game. Okay, what else did I want to do? Um, yes, then the last thing is we have a group of four moving off from Lahan to Gyanesis. So we just need to wait for the remaining troops on Lahan to, to get patched up. They are very close. They're all in this 97, 97, uh, 97 to 99 range. So we're good there. With a little bit of extra money, okay, now uh, money's gonna drop as we see because I just built that spaceport. But um, I think that we're okay to actually advance time now. Yeah, then we're going to heal up here. I want to check research. That's the other thing we always do in the beginning. In our State of the Union address, as I'm, I've am i decided to call it. 
Uh, quantum micro utilization would be good to to rush. Marshy Swamp is still going to take a while, even though Crass Research is fantastic. Oh, yes, and we are building on Griffin right now the new facility. It is 5% complete, so it's, it's taking quite a while. It'll take quite a, a lot longer. But as the population increases, that should also increase the speed that, that is being built. Okay, so it looks like uh, the 17 Strike Force is going over here to take care of who is this? Uh, the Keratos Outlaws, who we are having a protection arrangement with for the time being, so we're not gonna, we're not interested in trying to take out this small spaceport. It's absolutely wonderful that somebody else takes it out for us, though. Right now, we just want to get rid of all the pirate influences on any of our colonies, and I'll just I'll show, I'll just show you one more time how I was doing that. You can go to this screen and you can see the different um, facilities on any colony. So that hidden pirate base is the one we're we're very interested in eliminating. And wait, that's on Halmat. Where did I send? I think I sent them to Guyanese's. That was a mistake. Well, let's rectify that. I already changed. So you're going to Guyanese's. Let's have you stop and actually have you go to Halmat is the place. Wow, I'm really glad I double checked that. <laughs> Unloan troops at Halmat instead. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this is the many scenes summed up Buccaneers, though. So it's not. It's no longer the um, Handuinis who have four controlled colonies. Okay, they're still presenting some opposing front, but look at that. Down to zero military ships, zero firepower. That means it says unknown pirate base, but that probably isn't completed yet because they don't have any actual firepower. So the pirate era is definitely coming in, coming to an end quickly. Yes. Okay, this one is refueling. Well, you're going to go retrofit, if I'm not mistaken. So when you do your retrofitting, you will be receiving more fuel. We'll go up to 2x because this is a nice quiet period for us. Probably already the, the group at Lehan has been recharged by that. I mean, the troops. Let's just keep checking on these guys. 100, 100, 100, 100. 100. Yep, they're all ready. So let's start loading them up. Sure, we'll get four into two. In fact, we'll just transfer all of them and we'll be sending all the ships away anyway. So, and they'll all kind of arrive at the same time because we had that little hiccup sending the guys to the wrong place. Yep. Yeah, ironically, one is actually in hyperspace right past. <laughs> so they're going to arrive at almost exactly the same time. It, which means that just besides perhaps wasting a bit of fuel, at least we aren't wasting any time by this. So we can go ahead and unload troops here and unload troops here. Okay, very good. And we'll go up to 4x, which is the first time we've been up to 4x, and that, which is also a nice little pun on our game genre. But uh, let's see, calling hoppiness is now at negative 10. Well, hey, it's getting better. <laughs> I guess that's something, <clears throat> but we don't like it. We don't mind him. Oh, this is a governor with population growth. Wow. So we're stacking some really good uh, population growth. 29%, goodness, 18% income. Fantastic. Yeah, we do have a good income and that could be greatly increased the moment we decide to go to war with the the few remaining pirates who are still we're still paying money to so we're paying money to the Keratos and their military might is only 2,000 and the menacing sun buccaneers they're down to 4,800 so definitely the Keratos outlaws will be the ones we engage against first they do have four okay kappa uh, <clears throat> a gas station um Sapilia. And Iton. So Kappa, Sapilia, and Itun. Uh, it's gonna be hard to actually find these, but it doesn't matter. Oh, good, a new troop general. This is actually really important. We've been, we have not had one. I want to transfer this guy over to Halmat. How long will it take him to get there? 2031. Okay, we'll just wait until um, the middle of January in 2130. Because that is going to be an important thing. Okay, good. 250 credits. That's so many. You're so great. 
Uh, one thing I didn't do is take a look at who's willing to buy technology from us. That's a new, always, always a fun game to play. They have 175. We don't have anything that could go for that low. Okay, let's try the Solarians. Although I guess I am a little reluctant to sell any of these guys anything. Do they have? Do they have 202,000? But <clears throat> okay, so we can agree to initiate sanctions against the Masada theocracy again. But that's probably killing our reputation. I mean, I could. It, it would be nice to use another hundred thousand or so. But let's just see if we can maybe just get a technology from somebody instead, or um, sell a technology. I don't think we're going to be interested in selling technology to the Masadans, although I think that they will go down easily. We should also be checking on the research strength, the strategic value. So the, oh, Masadans, of course, we, I meant the Havenites. They're only at 2550, military strength of 6000. So we have them beat in both regards. 4400, how are the Salarians, our rivals? In, ah, they're just behind us. They're at 12,000, so they are skyrocketing their military. So let's see if the Haven Knights are willing to pay for anything. Unlikely. Yeah, they don't. They only have 60,000, so yeah, there's nothing we're going to sell them for that. Um, could sell them. No, 60,000 to an enemy. I just, I can't, I can't bring myself to do it. I don't think that the Graysons have any money. They're in a losing war right now, I think. Ah, uh, Stan were cor corrected, actually. So they're actually... <laughs> we could buy the Shudasta Research Center from them. <clears throat> oh, is that a research center? No, Shudasta is the one next to Gionesis, I think. So actually is a research center. I'm not interested in that anyway. With uh, 92,000, though, can I... I would be totally willing to sell them medical systems, because this is, this is an ally. We accept. Very good. So we take all their money. We're up to 175. What can we use with that? Well, we could definitely uh, hire, like, uh, crash research, high power blasters. We're still pretty far away from um, Titan Beams. And this is because we are weighing, waiting, I should say, our research so much away from weapons. Twice as fast in energy. Maybe that brings us to the idea of... This would be great, getting the next thing in this. I mean, this is going to just cascade so many great things. So many very helpful things. Um, okay, so we don't, I don't know about doing this because it's possible we could just try to get to the Vortex engine. This is definitely necessary though. There's no alternative to the thrust vector. You gotta keep going. The next one, the multi-vector is the last, the end game one, um, as long as you're not the uh, Slukins. But this one is, I mean, there's just no alternative. There's no parallel courses here. So this, we'll definitely be sticking with that. I guess you could also be the Mortalons. I didn't realize that there were two. This one certainly seems to be better. Oh no, this is a engine. Yeah, okay, so it is only the Mortalons. That makes sense, I thought there was only one. All right, so fast mining, not something we're gonna need to do. Uh, let's see, energy collection. <clears throat> we did get some kind of boost in damage control from something or other. Although maybe the next best thing to do is just to increase our construction size again. It's going to make our ships even better. This is the robotic troop thing I was talking about. So that's it. You know, if we need ground troops, that'll be a, a, a good thing to invest in. But I think right now we'll just get to fusion, uh, the end game fusion reactor, and then we'll do coordinated maneuvering. And I suppose the next best thing after that is going to be starting to build towards the best shields. If you have great shields, and you have decent armor, of course armor is here. Once we get done with this, is there anything prioritized? Let's just, nope, since this is four and the next one was five, we don't have anything else there. It'll take us quite a while to get through to uh, reactive armor, but it will be, hmm, well, not as substantial improvement. It was 10 to 18 here, and it's only 18 to 25 here, which not only is that just like by raw numbers, direct numbers less, from eight to seven, but the percentage gain is significantly less. This is a 80% growth and this is, it's not even 50% growth. Okay, well, we'll leave this enough. We can't, uh, we'll leave well enough alone for now. We can't do anything. We could probably do this, but 
Okay, it's only 40,000. That's not so bad. We'll do that. Another bit. Oh, this might be the cruiser. So those five components have been completed. Okay, here we go. The Reckless Chariot. Dissembling it could, yes, okay, but this is the important thing. Navigational directions. Oh, we found a detailed map of three nearby systems. That's the least important thing I could imagine. <laughs> We've explored everything. This is more important. <clears throat> Havrakos 3. Okay. Well, we've got to get somebody there immediately. And that's exactly what our um, scouts should do, our exploration ships. We have a few. I'll probably dispatch one. Okay, so let's pause this. We're going to let it... Technically, our construction ship hasn't yet finished its mission. Still repairing. We're going to let it give us that advanced thing. But let's, uh, let's look into this more. G6. Have Recos. Okay, G, six, oh, there it is. And what is here? We don't know, but there's the planet. Well, let's, somebody, let's send someone over. And it's kind of nice that it's so far away, it's very unlikely that, oh, so these guys are actually in the middle of retrofits, that's good. Um, exploration ship. Who is closest to this? Let's go to the end. Who is closest? You're pretty far away and out of fuel, so let's get you to um, I actually want you to return home, so let me just tell you to move to the Indusian system. That's not even a core system, but it doesn't matter. We have one here, one there. He could make it. I wonder who would get there faster. We might as well just send two. <laughs> Whoever gets there faster wins, I guess. <laughs> move here, and this guy's, I think, currently at... Oh, he has no fuel, though. My god. At least if you're there. So I assume you are... Yeah, you're a Manticore. Okay, so let's get this guy to refuel, or maybe just... Yeah, we'll get him to refuel. We'll keep him... No, you know what? I'm going to retire him. I don't think it's going to be that important to keep so many exploration ships. We just need, like... I mean, four is still fine, I think. We're down to only five, so... I just chose the number less than the current number. <laughs> because I was already choosing to eliminate one. So I wanted to make myself sound smart by saying, yeah, one less than this is fine. Reckless Chariot is done. Okay, now the construction ship's actually done, so we'll get him to go retrofit as well. And, oh wait, wait, no. No, d don't do that. Actually, in fact, move here. And you move here, I guess. They shouldn't do this in a stop. Yeah, Masadans want us to remove, I understand. Uh, basically, just get this guy to stop, and you will retire at Wild Scheme. There it is. Because I'm not, I'm not sure what this guy has, but yeah, he has all kinds of stuff that we'd like to get. So, we'll go ahead and start doing that. Okay, we have another gift. 800, not really that much. But hey, it's nice. It's a nice gesture. These guys look like they're taking care of that pirate base. Indeed they are. In fact, it's already done. Retrofitting has finished, good. So we gotta start knocking off. Has Helmet been built at yet? I sent somebody, oh, over here. So control six. Yeah, this is six. Let's get this to be Manticore. It's my way of saying that we have already built there. I'm sure you guys are catching on by now. All right, so who just finished? Cheerful Splendor. Well, Cheerful Splendor. Yeah, well, it says you're done, so we'll just go ahead and send you over here. Now, is this luxury? Yeah, it is. So, we need an ore luxury. There it is. Good. So, that's done. We can cancel that one off of our list. Okay, good. Next. Stop illusion. Wait a second. Oh, you're also on Mark IV. Well, fantastic. Yeah, there it is. The Stout Illusion has been finished as well. Okay, so that means that our next one, Usalea two, gets the Stout Illusion. And this is just, yep, just gas. Build a Gas Mark three. Okay. 
And we'll wait for the next one. Oh, and I need to put Manticore as that one. Good. So we're down to only a few more. Oh, we have discovered Forgotten Nexus, Ancient Ruins from Lost Civilization, and Master Sharp, so and Umwat, whatever. We'll investigate, I'm pretty sure this has already been taken. Yeah, I don't even know where that is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is it even exploring this? This must have been a civilian ship going here. I mean, it's the home. I'm. Is this the home? No, it's not. It's Lucan. Okay, yeah. It's not the home, at least. Is Whoa. Wow, the Solarians are just willing to spend so much money on defense bases and all this. It's incredible. <clears throat> we should go for carriers pretty soon. I guess we probably need to prioritize military research a little bit higher now. A lot of the base stuff. I mean, as soon as colonization is done, I don't think there's really anything more that we absolutely need from this. I mean, we can keep getting the annual maintenance decrease. Sorry. Yeah, maintenance saving is the one I want. So that's really nice. And there, you know, these... Regional government stuff, I don't really care about that, but regional capitals reduce corruption, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we have high-powered blasters. We're going to need 500,000, so we ought to wait quite a while for the next research to be rushed. But we are about to get the next tier of colonization, which is fantastic. Marshy swamps, watch out. Here we go. We interrupt your normal programming for this drink of water. There it is. Okay, this is big. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. Now this is a quality 61%, which means it's good enough for a minor port. Oh. But it's for Securin, because it's desert. Ah. Because we have Securins with us now. Mm-hmm. Okay, this one's 45%. What was the rune here? Well, Danthifer's already good, but what's the rune? Empire-wide weapon bonus. Wow, yeah. We'll take the 45% quality hit for that guy, definitely. Most assuredly. Although, desert, so again, this is only for Securins. Is this, we, I don't know where we got Securins, but these guys are obviously <laughs> giving us a lot of planets that I didn't have before. And in fact, I don't think that's any marshy ones. Okay, let's just take a look at all the marshy ones right here. Oh, okay, way down there. Wait, Anaska is up here. Why does it say iTunes is also up here? Oh, it is. This is Anuth. I thought that was the same word. Okay, I'm just blind. So we have Anuth down here. Naibu. Yeah, well, none of these are colonized bullets. Absolutely true. Ah, uh, Havarkos 3, which is, I think, colonized anyway. Okay, I don't even know where this is. There it is. Okay, that makes sense. Over there, over there. Great, so we can't do any of these. It makes sense the red ones are in the bottom, but uh, wait, there's no desert, 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 desert. Marshy, here we go, finally. Quality 78%, this is good. So now um, let's see if our existing colony ship um, let's see, we have this, okay, this will be this now. Let's see if our existing colony ship is capable of colonizing this. Okay, let's get you, select, call you, let's control you, control nine. So, nine, can you go here and colonize? You can. Very good. Yep, continental marshy swamp. Very good. So we didn't have to upgrade anything. That's good to know. Well, let's get that guy over here. This is a 78% colony. Um, huge size. I love that. It only has chromium on it, but it will be nice to have another 
let's kind of take a look at the nearby system. This is Calypso 2. Oh, fantastic. So we already have a, do we have a station here? Yeah, we have a mining station, which is damaged. Ha! <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay, this is gonna be control zero then. Well, I've just replaced all the troop transport hotkeys, but that's gonna be a high priority to get this guy re repaired. This is daunting discovery. Yep, you are gonna be the one then to... Re How do I prioritize this? Well, we gotta get the daunting discovery over here anyways. Where are you daunting? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, go back in. We'll just move him to this planet. Hopefully that guy gets out of the way eventually. <laughs> so you guys have completed their missions, which means Helmut is now occupied. Very good. And this one actually already had a garrison because I think we were fighting that war. Does that mean that there's actually Kyodian, Kyodian? Nope. Well, there's plenty of Kyodians here probably ungarrison two of these guys. We'll actually take two troops back with us, which is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, now it's time to wage this war. No, wait. We gotta wait till... Ah, perfect. Wait. Troops. What are you? You are troop general. We don't know anything about you yet, but hopefully we'll learn about you in this war with the pirates. Oh, um, who's defending this, by the way? I don't see, where's my defense at Hallmott group, for crying out loud? Um, where are you guys? Oh my god. Well, it's just all well and good, don't worry about it. We don't actually need a defense here, right? Considering the medium spaceport is up and running. Okay, that there is, at least the spaceport's up and running. We received a research bonus in robot robotic defenses from disassembling the advanced technology from this ship basically right here, which means Wild Scheme is now free to go and retrofit at the nearest place. So let's find out what robotic defenses gives us. I think it is down... Wait, wait, wait. No, I think I, was, I had it right. Where is it? Is it energy down here? There it is. Robotic defenses is here. Yep. Okay. So there it is, our robotic troop planetary facility. Unfortunately, it doesn't link to any higher tech, which is the technology I prefer to get done first, but that's okay. How are we doing on this? We're still pretty far away. Okay, fair enough. All right, that 50% bonus, as soon as we get our energy wonder, energy research wonder done, is gonna be fantastic. Oh, great. <sighs> yeah, well, of course we sus suspect sabotage, but... Well, let's go to this location and just queue it up. Okay, this guy already has a colony getting built there, but we'll choose this one instead. I'm going to make this a really high priority too, so basically one of the first things we get done. Maybe it's time just to build another construction ship. I don't see any reason why not. The construction ship, what's the maintenance on our new version? Be interesting to see. Show non-obsolete state. The new one is, it's only 1400. Let's get another one. This will be built at construction yards, but really I need the planet to build it. Construction ship mark four, purchase. So the Spirit of Kiadia, I love that. <laughs> Sometimes you get a name and it's a nice one. The Spirit of Kiadia, I like that one. Feels like a good one. Oh, good, Lawful. This is actually not a bad trait. Let's find out. So Lawful is plus 10% colony corruption reduction, plus 10% trade income, plus 10% tourism. Now, the tourism is not going to affect us here because we don't have uh, any kind of tourism. Where is he? He's in Venari 3. Hmm. The population growth is not fantastic. <laughs> How's Venari doing anyway? Ah, this is where the Securans are. And we don't even have a station here, for the love of God. This is a very small population. I think this is going to be another... I'm thinking this is going to be a small port.
Man, I have four. And two Buscarn executioners here. This is interesting. So we actually have some Buscarn troops here. And they are not that good. I mean, 173 and 139 versus my troops who are 210, 184. Well, you learn something new every day. 139, I think, is their absolute base level of troop. Actually, it feels like it's even lower. Huh. And they say experience. They're not green or, you know, new or recruits or whatever. Hmm. So secure, we can recruit the secure and assassins here. Well, let's just do... It's always nice to have the different races, but... What do we want to build here? Should we go for small or should we go for medium? This is not a major. Let's make it a minor. It's not a major, so let's do that. I think that's a good decision. Now we actually want, when the plan is done building that, I hope I get a reminder and I hope I actually pay attention. I think we will get a reminder. Whether we pay attention is another story. Because I do want to build some colony ships there. We can start getting some... Uh, I think that there's no more... non-desert type. Oh wait, Calypsa. Oh, we're already building it there. Yeah, of course. And all the rest are desert. Yep. Well, we'll just have to wait for desert research. By the way, speaking of, aha, before we get ocean, wait. Desert is so far away. Well, we get it with the Securans, so that's good. Hands transport. We might actually be able to boost this one. What is, is it actually, I mean, it leads to colonization. This is true, but it will give us oceans, but also marshy swamp colony growth rate is doubled, which is fantastic. This improves the troop compartment to 130. Well, that's not so, that means I can store five troops on a troop transport right now instead of four. And the passenger compartment is not very necessary either. It will increase the size of our resorts. Um, it's nice that that happens instantaneously. We don't need an upgrade for that. So our, our resort is not obsolete. Um, I guess we should do it because we can. And we're waiting. I mean, we're so far away from this one, 500,000. It would take a lot longer. Obviously, we're putting that one off for even longer, but colonization pretty important. So I'm not, yeah, I'm not disappointed by that decision. I think that was a good one. Okay, these guys are completing their mission. I think by completing their mission, they mean they've retrofitted, which is good because we have plenty of stuff to do, right? Didn't we just lose this? So let's get another construction ship there right away. Spirit of Kyadi is done, so that'll be her first task. By the way, is this Amorous Crystal, Aculon, and Necros? Nope. None of these. I just want to double check our, our luxury. I think they're all strategic. Aculon, I know. Why did I check that? And I know this one as well. I know that they are, but I get nervous and I check anyway. So we'll build a War Mark III there. Get somebody back over there. Next we have ah this one, which is oh, we almost have the con the construction ship is almost arrived. Let's queue this mission up if we can. Is anybody there? Good. So repair this. Good. That's fantastic. So that'll be done. And then okay, that'll be done. Basically, <laughs> I didn't need to say anything more. That one will be fixed. We have... You're going to call me something, so that's basically a blank hotkey. You are now done. Okay, you are next. And you will get the... How do you profit? I don't know if this one's done. Ah, uh, yeah, she's done building her uh, gas station over there. So let's get her to come home first. Uh, let's just do this easy way. Kyoto Adventure, right? Kyoto Profit. So get you to refuel at Manticore. Okay, and then that means next. Who's next? Retrofit. You are Mark Three. Retrofit. No repair. Retrofit. Ah, good. Oh, refuel. That's the same one. Retrofit a Griffin, and you're Mark Three. So we don't have any available right now. Maybe that even makes me think we should just build another one. It's only 1,400? Hmm, I don't know. 
we'll leave it for now. A uh, whole group of ships need some refueling. Well, guess what? You're in good luck. You can refuel at this exact station. So refuel all ships here. I'm very happy with this. these two. <laughs> I'm very happy to leave a picket there because that's, that's an essential um, system, I think. Okay, Kiyot Adventures finished. So now what do we have? Okay, let's start getting these. Well, I'm going to leave the clips a call. Not, let's do Astra 1 next. This was Kiyot Adventure. Good. And now you have Aculon and Necrostone. So definitely nothing that we need to worry about luxury-wise or station it is. Good. Now I gotta get these guys to be no longer needed. Four, five, six. Okay, we got somebody building something here, so let's get this one as well. Okay, seven, that'll be our new colony. So let's get this one to that. Okay, and now we only have one more Shadasta 8. And this is Shadasta around here. That's why I said it was close to Guyanese's. All right. We got a lot done in this episode. Even though we didn't, why didn't I begin the, let's finish the episode off with a nice bang, liberating our last colony from pirate influence. Very exciting stuff. Attack. All right, here we go. Uh, that's right, I was waiting for these guys to get back. They've gotten there though, right? Yes, defensive Helmut is now arrived back at Helmut. Let's move them back in so we get that bonus. 473 to 70, it's not even a remotely a fair fight. And we have space control, this should be easy. Oh good, Calypso 2 has been colonized, fantastic. We want to go to this place immediately. Select colony, go to colony. All right, so you are going to immediately start building. Now, Calypsa, what kind of planet are you? 78%. This is usually how I judge what my colonies will be. I did not do this for Venari. 76, okay, that, that's appropriate. I think 80 or more will get the medium treatment. Um, 79 and less will get the small spaceport treatment. So Nantare will get the small. Venari. Sphinx got the medium. Actually, Sphinx got, yeah, medium. Lehane got medium. Griffin got medium. Hamak got medium, or should have, with 90% quality. That's amazing. That might end up, end up being one of my most populous colonies. Gyneses, I think, got medium because it's one of the first ones established. Oh, and this is interesting. We have a, a million securants here. So I don't know how it works exactly. I think it's the most populous group is the one that they take for the... Um, for the colony ships. Like if we built a colony ship at Guyanese's, it would be interesting. We could do it. We could build it. I mean, we might need a colony ship for another marshy swamp eventually. In which case, you know, having one hanging around. But how expensive are those colony ships in terms of maintenance? How much do we have to wait? Oh, mothership, by the way, has to be changed to the fortune class, right? And I was gonna do, uh, I think I'll just do fortune class. Colony, colonizer, fortune class colonizer. Uh, it's a little bit lengthy, but that's what I wanted was the fortune class. I think it was the fortune, okay. Anyways, doesn't matter. So we begin, we've begun this attack on the Helmut pirate base. These are going extraordinarily well, I'm sure. We're still taking some losses. I think at some point, once you get this overwhelming odds, I don't think your troops are still fighting. I don't know. Oh, so defending... There's two people here. Um, Why are there two people here? I only have one. Oh, one's the population itself. Now they're both. Why are the defending population in defense? 
I guess that's what they mean is actually that's the hidden pirate base. No, because this is the Slukin Pirate Raiders. Very strange. Well, whatever it was, it's done now. It doesn't matter. We don't need to know all the details. <laughs> the important thing is we won. Did we learn our troop? Oh, wow. This is great. Oh, uh, man. Savings is minus 10%. So that's not good. So once they do recover from here, we want to get him out of there. Okay. Because so he's just going to increase the cost of our troops. And we have a whole bunch of troops there costing us quite a bit of money. So we actually don't even need his recovery rate. So let's go right now and move him probably to just a, a planet where he can't be, where he doesn't bother us. Eventually I will have like a recovery planet. You know what? Not even. I don't even think so. We might, it's, it might even be worth like dismissing this guy. He's, he's just useless to us. I can't think, I mean, there's very, very few situations where recovery rate actually trumps the price. That's okay. We'll keep him around. I will just move him, I guess, to... Where's some place that we don't really care about? I can't move him to Manticore because um, we'll have a lot of troops there, constantly building new troops. So let's get him over to... Huh. I'm trying to think. I guess we can move him... I have one there, I have one at Lehan and Halmot, Griffin. I'll just move him to Sphinx. He'll just be moved to Sphinx. I know that there's one garrison there, but that's okay. I might use Griffin to recover troops from time to time, but I probably won't use Sphinx, so. Oh good, we completed research and enhanced transport. Wow, that was really quick. And now on to Ocean Research, which is gonna take over a million for us to fund. Yeah, but we're, we're getting into colonies. Okay, so that that's it. We'll call the episode to a close here. We've accomplished a lot in this episode. Getting a, We're slinging our construction ships left and right all, of our, all around the galaxy. Um, have a few more things to do. So we have Shadasta 8. We have Algra. Where's Algra? Algra, there it is. Yeah, Algra, that's a very natural place for an, another mining station. Um, we have Calypsa 2, which just been, it's a new colony. Did I get a station there? Did I start the actual construction? See, I didn't. Got sidetracked. Minor port for you. Um, and then, what else do we want? Oops. I accidentally turned off the station. There we go. So Algra 3, we'll have to build Shudastan 8. Off camera, these are the things I'll do. Oh, this one's complete. Fantastic. So let's go and look at this ship. Are you done? You're done? Let's get you to move back to Manticore to refuel, and then we can retask you. Same old cycle. Okay, so let's build one more construction ship before I forget. No, no, no. Manticore, there it is. So I think we can keep these guys occupied. All right, so what do we have? We, we, we accomplished a lot in this episode. We freed our, our last pirate colony, last pirate influence. Cash flow didn't go up from that. Well, not noticeably. That's because we're not charging Helmont anything, of course. But um, it does help the civilian economy. I think it helps. I, I don't think it helps growth, so. <laughs> it's just eliminating the pirate source of income, I guess, which is good by itself. Now, what else do we have? Um. We're getting a whole bunch of these mining stations out. Next turn, what do we have to do? I think next turn might be just, let's see what happens. Maybe off camera, I'll look into our ship design, see if we need to design anything else. But otherwise, we might have this nice period of peace where we can actually go 4X for a while. So nothing on the agenda except for to upgrade a few, I mean, to build a few more mining stations. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you for the next episode. And until then, take care.